everyone, it's Tawana from Tawana's Yoni and Teens, powered by Make Me Over Styles. Uh, I am just so excited I miss you guys. I hadn't done a YouTube video in a long time. And so I have a special request from Mimi. I'm not going to tell your complete name, but I promise you that I will make a video to not only help you, but for those who are watching me. So Mimi wanted me to do a video to answer three questions. She wanted to know how I started. She wanted to know where to start and she wants to know the obstacles and the challenges that I faced when open, opening my very own Yoni business. So if you'll stay tuned, I've got some information that you don't want to miss coming right up. All right, all right, all right. So I'm back. Do me a favor. Um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, okay? Um, you know my goal is to get 1,000 subscribers uh, this year, and I am certainly close to that. My numbers are moving, so I just want to tell you guys thank you so much for that. Um, when you comment, when you subscribe, it just helps me get to my overall goal. And so we'll talk about why goals and that sort of thing are so important, which I know you already know that. So if you have not, please do so. If you're looking at me right now, you're looking at me for a reason. Why not hit the subscribe button? It helps me out a lot, so I certainly appreciate that. Okay, so let's get started with her first question, okay? Uh, my name is Tawana, if you're just now joining me, and I am a Yoni wholesale supplier. Not only do I uh, wholesale Yoni products, um, I wholesale a few more other things, and I'll get off into that in just a little bit, but Mimi wanted to know, how did I get started? Okay, so last year, this is uh, May. Okay, so last year in uh, February, you guys know that, you know, everything around us was just, it was just a disaster. Okay, it was just a disaster. Um, I got introduced to this product, the Yoni Pop. So let me start there. I started off with a Yoni Pop. That's all I sold. Okay, that's the only thing that I offer. Um, I started, I actually got the product in November of the year prior, so which would have been 2019. But I still have a brick and mortar business. So like I still own a barber and a style shop and I also own a mobile notary and business services in the inside, okay? So I'm going to tell you how these things, how, how these things correlate. So as the coronavirus is getting closer and closer and closer to my state, um, and we're seeing the numbers go up, it was getting scary. It was getting really scary. Things were shutting down and it was time for my shop to shut down because the barber and style, any personal services, things like that, you guys know we were not getting our nails done and stuff like that. They said shut it down. Okay. So it all kind of. It all kind of happened like in perfect timing, but at that time I did not know. So I'm speaking to somebody that that may be afraid, that may not know anything, um, that may question whether it's the right time. I'm talking to you, okay? Stay tuned. This is going to look, this, I'm going to take you on the ride, okay? All right. So after that, I know I get I get a notice in my email that tells me the date that I have to lock my doors in my uh, barber and style shop. Now, my notary business actually was on the rise because um, with so many things going on, people like people were dropping like flies, unfortunately. And so there were some documents that family members wanted to have prepared. Um, and I mean wheels. I mean, I mean power of attorneys. I mean selling off stuff i mean it was a lot going on but even though it was more revenue that i you know could have obtained on on the notary side you guys i'm still in fear for not only myself i'm in fear for my parents because i have to go around them you know and this thing what we had learned at that point was that it may have it may affect you know older people like maybe more than it would us right and so like i'm thinking i don't know what to do but you just have to know me like I'm not afraid to do anything. 
I'm not afraid to lose. I'm not afraid to, I, I'm not afraid of anything. Like you just have to know that about me. So even though all these things are falling to my left and my right, like I know I'm going to be okay. I don't know how I'm going to be okay. And sometimes you just have to know that. You feel me? You just going to have to know that without knowing because I didn't know. Okay. So anyway, uh, myself and um, a friend of mine at the time decided we were going to make a video. But she and I decided it wouldn't be fair if we didn't try it, right? But still, like, even though I heard so many good things um, from the vendor that actually provided, you know, the product, um, I heard so many good things. And I saw so many people having a great experience, but that did not mean that I wanted to try it. And that you'll just have to know about me personally. I don't like taking aspirin. Uh, you just got to ask my husband. I am the, oh gosh. I mean, I've got to be sick to let you put something in me a shot um even you know what i'm saying that time with a month girl i just thug it out okay i don't like it i don't like it if it's not natural like i don't like it so in terms of putting something or inserting something in your hoo-ha i'm like no so anyway you guys again i thought you know if we're gonna be fair then i just have to try it right so i did right and so the experience that i had See there, I don't even know what to say. Like it was just, it was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. And for more information on it, I'll link everything below, like my website, my wholesale site, and all that stuff, so you can like get a good description of what the product is that I'm talking about. So anyway, I knew nothing that day, but I knew I had to spread the word. I knew I had to tell somebody. I knew that somebody needed to hear this. I knew that the benefits of this product, like it could change somebody's life. So. At the time, again, let's go back. Okay, so I'm still a business owner, like to two businesses. Like I've had my brick and mortar business 11 years. Okay, so people know me for being a loctician. They know me for being a notary. They know me for running my shop or whatever. They don't know me for selling hoo-ha pills. Okay, so I didn't know how to say that. Again, that did not stop me. That didn't stop me. So um, I started to advertise this product in, the, in my story on Facebook and that sort of thing. And so I wasn't getting any responses. Um, and so I'm just like somebody watching me right now. You're you're wanting to launch something. You're advertising it. You're doing everything you can. You're wondering why you're not getting a sale. You're wondering why, you know, you, you're wanting a lot of things, right? So that was me, all right? So y'all, it gets worse. So anyway, it's February. I try the product. I make a YouTube video. And you can go back below and see this YouTube video. I think it's uh, probably got about 6,000 hits, um, which is pretty decent because we were just playing around, right? So anyway, um, after that, it's getting to be March. So I know I'm about to be shut down, right? I know, like, I'm about to be shut down. So a friend of mine, and I've told this story a little bit in some videos before, but I just want to, you know, reach out to Mimi. Hey, girl. Um, so anyway, a friend of mine hit me up or whatever. Um, she is one that I will, I will never forget her. Like the way this happened, the way it fell, I could never forget her. But anyway, she, she told me, she said, listen to Wana, I can't use the Yoni Pop right now. I can't use the steams or anything like that, but I know what you're talking about. And I know that, look, I know it's amazing. And when I have this baby, you're going to be my go-to. Okay. So anyway, this is March. Now y'all, not only do i know not know how to advertise a freaking yoni pop i don't know how to build a website i don't know how to actually get the customer to buy and i knew at that point that local supporters local um local people in my community wouldn't get me to the place that i wanted to be because i dream big i dream big and you just have to know the town that i live in and that's another conversation but anyway i knew in my mind sometimes you just have to know what you're up against you just have to know that it's okay you don't have to be frustrated about it. You don't have to feel some type of way about it. But when you know thyself and when you know what's going on, you know how to execute, okay? So I had already put that in my head. Like, they're not going to support me. There, This is not going to happen. So anyway, after that, um, okay. So with that being said, if I felt like the locals were not going to be the people that got me to where I needed to be, I had to find an outlet of how people could buy it from me, right? which would be a website, right? But how am I going to build a website? I'm definitely not spending any money. I'm about to get shut down. Like, I'm just like, how am I going to do this, right? So there were a lot of things to think about. It was definitely a lot of stuff to think about. But again, you got to know me, y'all. I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to quit. I don't talk the talk. I walk the walk. 
you know? And so I encourage so many people so much that I just can never just say, you know, that I can't. Because if I expect people to believe in what I say, I got to do my due diligence, right? So anyway, y'all, I started to try to build this dang website. And honey, when I tell you, that was not easy. It was not easy. Okay, but it's all good because like nobody's really looking at my product anyway. Um, advertising it in my story. Um, putting it on my Instagram. Um, doing the best I can. Ain't nobody looking at it anyway, right? So I thought. I'm just kidding. I knew they were looking. But I'm talking to you because don't. I think some people get discouraged when they think nobody sees their post or nobody comments. Trust me, sis. They looking at you. I promise you. Let me tell you a simple way how you know how. Um, I challenge you to stop putting things on your timeline on, on your social media. Put it in your story. The story counts. It's going to tell you how many people look. Okay? So, um, if, 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 for example, there are sometimes I may make a post and I may get like three likes, but my story hitting 500 or 1,000 views. You get it? So, they're, they're watching you. Don't worry about that. Okay? Okay, so, anyway... I start seeing the numbers pick up after I wouldn't get anything. I start seeing the numbers pick up on my story and stuff like that. So at this time, I'm, 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 I know, like I've got to get a website, like I've got to figure out a way to trans, you know, for 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 people to be able to purchase the product, them be secure, and myself be secure. So anyway, y'all, I worked on it one day, and I know I I worked on it so long, I turned blue in the face. I mean, I'm just tired. My eyes were tired. It was just ridiculous. So about four or five hours that day, y'all, I learned how to get one product up there, right, y'all. Well, when I got the product up there, that don't mean that I knew how to put the postage. That don't mean I knew. I didn't know anything. I didn't know the description. So basically, I'm back at square one. So I'm talking to somebody. Like, don't give me that excuse. I'm not the one. Like, I'm not the one. I did it. I promise you. I did it. And I think I, I'd have to credit it to um, just not giving up. I think that's it, ultimately. So anyway, so um, after that, um, I decided I was going to go ahead and give it a launch day. So go ahead and launch the website, y'all. Again, I don't know a lot about it. I launched one product on there. I know it's live. I know I've at least did that part, okay? So anyway, once I launch it, I um, start to promote in my store that the thing is launched, this and any other. And my buddy, and I always talk about her, and I talk about her because she means so much to me. I would have never thought of my wildest dream that she and I would have um, met in terms of business the way we did. <clears throat> her name is Jackie. And Jackie and I actually knew each other before I started the Yoni business. When Jackie first moved to uh, Alabama from um, Detroit, her husband at the time, he I knew him. I didn't know her. But he introduced me to his wife. Um, I don't know. I ain't, I ain't hard to get along with. So she and I got along like in the in the beginning. Um, like I said, I'm a notary. So I notarized some paperwork for them that day. And that's initially how I met Jackie. I knew nothing about Jackie. Like, I did not know that Jackie uh, had her own. I'm sorry. Let me let this. Let me let them go back because I want y'all to hear this. <laughs> y'all got to hear this. Okay, so I had no idea Jackie had a um, small business, online business. I didn't know anything like that about her that day. All I know is that her husband introduced us and we joined each other's social media. Y'all, this is like 2000 and. 13 i believe like this is a long this is a while ago maybe i don't know it's a while ago so anyway she and i didn't talk for a long time after that now she would hit me up on facebook if she needed something uh like as far as papers or she needed like if she wanted needed to come to my shop and uh, buy some hair bundles you know whatever but it wasn't like this what i'm about to explain to you so anyway Jackie kept viewing my story when i started advertising my yoni products and i know i'm going all over the place y'all just hanging here with me Okay, so Jackie started looking at my products and stuff. Oh, Lord, y'all, I'm adjusting my color on here. What am I doing? Okay, whatever. So, anyway, Jackie sent me a message one day, and she was like, Tawana, I know exactly what that stuff is. I'm going to use it. I got you. She's like, but one more thing. She's like, I have a group, and I want to share with them what you do. Now, her group is a sex toy group, Okay. So she said, you know, to one of I look, they could use this. Like, this would be so cool. She's like, don't worry about it, sis. I got this. Well, you know, uh, I'm adjusting this, y'all. I don't know what I done did. But that ain't the point. Y'all need to hear what I'm saying. Anyway, so, um, long story short, Jackie decides that she's going to post about me and her group. 
At this time, I think this group had like 5,000 or 7,000 people. And I don't remember, but it was a lot of people in that group. And so it just kind of went along with what they did in the group. They review sex toys. They talk about, and the group is pretty cool. I would see her talk about her group on Facebook. It just at the time was not something that I would probably join. But anyway, she told me, she want to join my group. You're going to see this post. That way, if they're going back and forth, you can help them answer the questions. I'm like, okay. Well, y'all, I had no idea what was about to happen. So let's go back to the website. I went to the website and I would go and check my analytics every day. See, I'm learning. I'm learning this website. See, I'm still learning how to check it and all this stuff, right? But while I'm checking, y'all, I'm noticing that I'm getting people on there, but they're not buying. And it's not a lot of people. It's not a lot of people at all, but it still encouraged me. So somebody needs to know that you're okay just where you are. Somebody needs to know that you should celebrate just where you are. It doesn't matter that you're, um, um, you see so-and-so, uh, their business booming over here. It doesn't matter that, you know, it seems like so-and-so, you know, that, look, focus on you. Sorry about that. I had to adjust something. But anyway, um, it's a must that you keep an ego eye. Like you gotta keep, you gotta keep your ego eye on what your goal is, like what you set out to do. And I'm gonna tell you why that's important because, okay, so say for example, you keep looking at what someone else doing. First of all, it takes focus on what you're doing. And then the second thing it does is it gives you a false expectation. Okay. Because subconsciously you'll always be comparing like your life or your sales or your expectations because you see somebody else. And most importantly, <clears throat> what you do not know is you don't know what they're going through. Okay, so business is not easy. You don't know. Like, people are going to tell you the good things. They're going to show you the great pictures. They're going to um, they're gonna show you their accomplishments. They're, gonna, they're not going to tell you when it's hard. So don't expect it. Okay? Just know that 98% of what you see on social media is BS. Okay? Okay. Um... So, all right, so to answer that question, you just got to go. You just got to start. Okay, so back to she's getting ready to make this post in her group, right? So she hit me up after I joined the group, y'all, and this group is not like my group at all. Y'all, it's not like my group at all. But look, I've, I've learned and I've gained some so many friends in that group. This is so strange. So just in over a year, a year and something like, I've gained, I've met so many girls in a group that I never ever thought I'd be in. So anyway, so she makes the post, y'all. I go from probably maybe 20 visitors a day on my site with no sale no sale to 600 hits plus a day with a minimum of 40 buys a day and from march until at least august those numbers just kept rising they were not going down they they were just rising so i knew what i had was a great product i knew what I was going to share. I knew it was when it, when it hit, I knew it was going to hit, but I never thought it was going to hit like it hit at all. But what I did do is, is I put in the work. What I did do is, is I focused on my business. Okay. The business that pays me, not your business. So you, you gotta, you, 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 you gotta remember that. And it's so easy to get distracted, which brings me to the third thing. Okay. She wants to know the obstacles and the challenges that I went through. Okay. So one of the first things that I, um, learned is that the Yoni pop was so popular that the women wanted me to get them more product. Like they wanted Yoni bars. They wanted Yoni oil. And you know, the Yoni business, like the Yoni eggs, the tightening gel. I mean, it can go on and on and on. And so I thought, ooh, okay, now, but how am I going to do this? How am I going to find it, right? So are you hearing what I'm saying? I was always trying to find somebody else to help me. Sometimes God just wanted for you. And you need to know that. Um, he's taught me some valuable lessons. And some of them didn't feel good because it was for me and it wasn't for anybody else. So after I started doing so well with the Yoni pop guys, I decided that I was going to add Yoni bars into uh, my business. Okay, so I found a great vendor, found a fantastic vendor. 
Um, and so I would start to place my orders with this vendor and, um, the demand was getting so, uh, high on my end that vendor couldn't keep up with me. She was getting too slow, nothing against her at all. She's just too slow for me. So I thought, okay, so now I need another bar vendor. Okay. Now this vendor did and made great soap, but she wasn't as consistent in soap making as this one, right? But her prices was a heck of a lot cheaper. So the margin, the profit margin was better, right? Okay. So let me just tell you what happened with both of those vendors. Are you ready for this? So this kind of hurt my feelings. And in business, sometimes we're not even allowed to get our feelings hurt. Like people don't even care. They think that, you know, you're the business owner, deal with it. And I get that. I, I get it. Okay, so anyway, y'all, um, the, the 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 first Yoni Bar vendor, for, first of all, she already takes too long. Secondly, she and I had an interaction one day that I felt like it shouldn't have went that way. Because first of all, I buy product from you. Second of all, I think the whole conversation was misunderstood, but you just have to know me. Like, and I need help with this. I just need help with this. And I've come a long way. But once you cross me a certain way, it ain't no coming back with me. I don't care how much money we make together. I don't care um, how cool we were. I don't care about losing. And 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 y'all, my sign is a tourist. I'm a bull. And sometimes I'm a little bull headed. Okay. So, like, that day, I could not totally leave her alone. But what she did, this is my husband walking in, you guys. Um, hey, honey. Oh, you look like you have worked your tail off today. Look at you, how you sweat. Okay. So, um, my pusher, my baby, my best friend, my everything. Oh, my God. Okay. So, y'all, that day, I knew, like, I'm going to have to break my ties with her. But I couldn't that day because I had so many orders. And I knew, like, the business is doing nothing but getting better, getting stronger. And I thought, man, no one will believe this is happening to me. So did you remember what I said before? Don't be looking at other people, what they got going on. You don't know what they went through, sis. Chill. If they really was honest and told you the God come true, if you actually had the opportunity to sit down with them, you will be blown away at some of the bullshit that they've had to deal with. Okay. Okay. So anyway, my customers are starting to love the bars that she provide even more. And I'm thinking, I don't know what I'm about to do, but something got to happen. So y'all, she started to get slower and slower, which means that when my customers purchase these products, it's taking me longer and longer to get it to them. And I can't do anything. My hands are tied. Okay. So let's go to vendor number two. The second vendor, um, uh, it, it happened again. She and I had a disagreement in conversation and it should not have went that way. So, so let me give you a word of advice. When you're having a conversation with your business partner or with your vendors, don't text message. Text messages, text messages sometimes can be read out of context. And that's what she did. She read my text message out of context. Okay, but again, y'all, even though I'm the, I am sweet as pie, I'm not to be crossed because it's no coming back with me. And I've gotten better with this because you know what? You have to understand this too. Business is not personal. So I've learned that I don't have to personally, um, I don't have to personally feel a type of way about you, but I don't have to do business with you and that's just it, right? Okay, so now I'm in shambles. I'm thinking, okay, both of my soap suppliers. And I'm booming. I'm booming, right? So, y'all, one day I just decided to just bite the bully and just ask my vendor for something. Even though maybe I wasn't happy with the way you talked to me and the way that conversation went, I asked for something. And we went back and forth. Even that conversation was a little bit uncomfortable. Um, she had the option to answer my question, yes or no, or however she felt. I'm not one of those people. When I come to the door, when I come to the door with you, it's okay, whatever decision you make, it's okay 
whether you agree with me and we made a deal or you disagree with me, I'm okay with that. But what I what I have to do is, is I have to give you your right to give me the answer to that. Seeking you shall find. So I have to ask, right? So anyway, I thought, hmm. Anyway, long story short, y'all, what I asked, she eventually gave. Okay. Now, after that day, I'm going to be straight up honest with you. I knew I was done with her. I knew that. So now I'm risking my sales. I'm risking everything. But again, like I tell you, like, I mean what I say. I don't. God helps me to give second chances, but once you cross me one time, I don't care how much money we make together. I don't care. I'll write you off like I never, ever knew you. So this is the real side of business, the raw side. I'm going to share this with you because normally never people never even talk about this side, right? So after that, um, I took the knowledge on what the girl gave me, right? And look at my husband flirt with me. Leave me alone. Okay, so y'all, I took the knowledge of what the girl gave me. And I can't even tell y'all the rest is history. The one knowledge nugget that she dropped, um, I in turn became a soap maker. I don't purchase soap from anybody. Not only did I become a soap maker, I'm a soap supplier. I'm a soap wholesaler, a Yoni bar wholesaler. Not only did I master my skills at that, I even mastered making soap for men. Okay, through these challenges, hear me out here. Not only did I learn how to do it and master how to do it, I wholesale to 20, and as of last week, 30 stores around the world. From Atlanta, California, Las Vegas, Kansas, Detroit, Tennessee, Anything you can, Mississippi. How these folks found me? Because I was being consistent. Because I was minding my own business. I wasn't minding your business because your business don't pay me. Okay, so let me tell you another, another um, thing that happened. Even though this was an obstacles and these are challenges because that's what we're talking about. Okay, so not only did I teach myself something. I eliminated them in the um, budget that I had to set aside every month to purchase soap from them. I don't have to pay you no more because I am the GOAT. Right? I didn't see that coming. That's why I'm telling you, you've got to press forward when you don't know. You don't know what's going to happen. I did not know what was going to happen. Let's go a little step further. Not only did I become a wholesale Yoni bar supplier, I became a wholesale Yoni Pop, Yoni Oil, Yoni Pearls. I even made another website where I'm a wholesaler to help you start your business, whether it be these earrings I have in my ear. I was going to put on my long lashes, but I wholesale those too. And I'm going to link everything in the description box. That's another website, so I'll tell you all about that. And this video is pretty long because she requested this, and I just had to, I had to share this. So... Let's get into my personal life a little bit. And I normally don't like to do this, but you, somebody need to know this. You just need to know. Okay. So I told you guys that I own a barber and style shop. So I'm in my barber and style shop right now. And you may not even hear my husband in the background, but my husband is coming from his small business that I can't even help him run. I can go help him buy, be the buyer and know like what to buy. But I can't help him. I can't physically go with him anymore because this took over my life. In my business right now, I can't do as many heads as I used to do because I got to pack orders. I can't stay in, in, in the shop and do hair all day because I got orders coming through. I can't. Um, I can't. Um, I can't just sit in my business and and take walk-ins anymore because somebody's just ordered 500 bars of soap. Somebody ordered 200. I have to prepare. I have to keep on schedule with what my refund policy boasts online. I didn't see that happening. 
I didn't see that, you know, even though I'm married, that some days I'm going to miss my husband because he's on third shift. I work first shift. Did I tell y'all I still have a part-time job? Are you adding this stuff up with me? My part-time job keeps me consistent. My part-time job makes sure, you know, makes me accountable. It makes me get up every day. And I work in the media. I work in marketing. So it also helps me structure my business. So even though I've considered and I've thought about, should I, should I, I haven't got to that place that says, okay, go. But it really is challenging sometimes when I get one order in a day and it's double what my job pay me in a whole two weeks. That's hard. It's hard to stay rooted. It's hard to, to just say, I'm going to keep doing this. And I know for sure in my mind, I'll make that, you know, off a of sale. So these are the challenges. These are the obstacles. Okay. Let's go a little bit further. Um, it's difficult when, um, at starting last week, I've, I've noticed that I've gotten my, um, Facebook group flagged. Uh, there's somebody in the inside that's reporting me and I don't know it, but let me tell you about God. Let me tell you about me personally. I thank God. I don't know. There's some things you need to shield yourself from. You should not even know it. Somebody need to hear this because if I knew who did that, it will probably blow me away. It probably wouldn't, but I'd be willing to bet you with somebody I know. So last week I seen it get a little bit worse. Uh, they started reporting my soap block pictures. Um, and Facebook will warn me and say, you're going against community standards. So this does one of two things. A lot of my business is from Instagram and Facebook and things like that. And so like, that's a potential threat to my livelihood. You see what I'm saying? They shut my group down. Don't get me wrong. You guys, I definitely want you to follow me on my Instagram. Make me over uh, styles on Instagram. Um, and I'll link all that stuff in here. But anyway, like it's those kind of challenges that I don't talk about. Um, it's the emails that, uh, or the inboxes that ask me how I make soap. I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> I can be your vendor. I can wholesale you soap. I can wholesale you everything you need, but I'm not going to tell you how I done it. If you would like um, to purchase from somebody else, go for it. But I won't tell you my recipe. Nobody ever told me theirs. And even if they did, they never gave me anything for free. Okay. So um, don't, I, I don't care to ask her questions about how I make this, how I package this. Some people don't get me wrong. It's just the type of relationship I have with you. Like Jackie, Jackie can get the shirt off my back. Because Jackie, Jackie opened herself up to me. Jackie exposed herself to me in several different ways. Business, personal, all kinds of ways. To let me know, sis, I know you got me. I don't care about what I tell you or what I share with you. I'll share with you my good days, my bad days. I'm going to share that with you. Um... She's the only one that I would do something like that for. Um, and I also kind of think sometimes it's disrespectful when a person, you haven't even purchased anything from me. You wouldn't even tell me hi. You wouldn't even, look, you never even hit like on a picture of mine. You never even share anything. But you want me to tell you how I do what I do? Never. I respect the game. I respect the game. I wouldn't expect you to do it for me. Last but not least, because I've made this video so long, y'all, and I said I wasn't going to do that. I apologize. Um, Mimi, I hope I hope this helps, girl. Okay, so the last thing. Um, dang it. I lost my train of thought. Hmm. Oh. Make sure you always have more than one vendor on everything. You never know what will happen to you. Even... Um, me and I don't, I don't, I don't say, I don't, I'm not saying I foresee something happening, but I have experienced so many things. I don't wait anymore. I don't wait anymore for something to happen. I'm ready. I bob and weave. I'm bobbing and weaving every day because I don't have time to wait. I have too many customers waiting on me. Not only am I a retail supplier, I'm a retail and a wholesale supplier. I can't stop. They don't care if that vendor, uh, uh, I can't get in touch with them. They don't care if uh, 
Maybe we had a disagreement and I decided I don't want to deal with them anymore. They don't care. My customers have to get their things. You understand? So always make sure you got a backup on everything. People change like the wind, unfortunately. And I'm not upset about it. I'm not frustrated about it. These are just things that you have to know when you're doing business. Okay? But overall, my Yoni business does amazing. Um, I think... My website in nine months clocked 50,000 hits. 50,000 hits. Um, I won't say the type of money that I made because that's just kind of personal. But I will say it tops my brick and mortar business and my notary business combined in less time. I thank God for that. I would have never seen that coming. But ultimately, let me tell you what I'm most thankful about. Man, I met some amazing girls. I met some amazing women. And Mimi, if you're watching me, I'm coming to your uh, state in a couple of weeks. I actually am going to meet one of the girls that I met through the pandemic. She's from California. She's going to meet me in your town. All because of my group. I never knew her. Is that not amazing? So there's about three or four more that helped me and they changed my life. And let me tell you something about where I'm going with this. These people were total strangers to me. Total strangers, y'all. I didn't even know these people from a hole in the wall. They helped me, sis. They helped me, you know? So I don't want to tell them thank you anymore online. I don't want to um, just keep on, you know, saying how much they mean. I want to knock on their door. I want to tell them what they mean to me. Because they changed my life. So God will take someone that you have never seen a day in your life, and he'll change your life. God will take a jacket that will make one move, one move for me, one move and change my life. In the month of um, July, I believe, July. Okay, so let me give you an example because I don't want to tell the numbers. Okay, so the amount of money that I make every year on my job, every year, I made that in the month of July. One time. Do you know how hard that is to keep encouraged and keep going to your job? But you got to do it. You got to do it. Whatever goal you set or whatever you want to, you know, we, we don't know what will happen. Until that day comes and you get that divine word that says stop, quit, keep going. And I hadn't got that day yet. The business that I helped my husband run, the one I helped him start probably a year ago, um, the numbers that he does on his business supersedes what he makes on his job but he still gotta go you know so there's levels to this there's levels to this uh people are not gonna tell you the part that i'm gonna tell you this stuff it never stops i mean it's like you're running all day every day somebody needs this you forgot that did you order that did you do? so this is not for the week so I always know this like if you are going into business just to make money this is probably not what you want to do because some days the money is not worth it it's just not um, even if it's a lie, it's just not worth it. I'm just telling you, not for your mental state. But if you were like me and you just have something raging in you, raging in you, and you want to do it, that energy right there alone makes it work. Okay? So anyway, I hope this video helps someone. I'm Tawana with Tawana Joni and Tangs. Made me over styles. I'm definitely going to link uh, my information in the description box here. Again, I am a U.S. wholesaler. For Yoni Pops, the Yoni business, totally, okay? Um, if you need to contact me, I'm going to leave my email below. Uh, I'm probably not going to pay attention to comments on this video, even if it lets you, because I don't know, for some strange reason, it won't even let people comment on my video sometimes. But anyway, you'll have my email. You can send me uh, a message. If I can help you with something, I'd love to, but I can tell you now, don't ask me who my vendor is. Don't ask me what's in my products. Don't ask me, listen, I'm your connect. If I can help you, I will. I'll supply you. Um, not only will I supply you with Yoni products, I'll supply you with supplemental products for your business, like my earrings in, bu uh, in bundles. I do it. Um, I do shea butter in bundles. I do waist beads in bundles. I do sage sticks in bundles. Okay. So um, I went from a Yoni pop, started with a Yoni pop, and now I control two full websites. On top of everything else I do. Don't ask me how I do it. If I ever sat down and thought about that, I would probably be batshit crazy. I just do it. I just do it. I do it for you. I do it because, you know, 
my girl in Kentucky, she's got a full, full fledged Yoni steam business going. She, I got to get her her soap, right? I do it, you know what I'm saying, for my girl in Atlanta. She's got a whole freaking spa going. I gotta supply her. So at this point, it's beyond the money. It's beyond the money. I certainly enjoy what I do, and even through my challenges and my obstacles, do you see how it elevated me and took me to another level and saved me money? So don't ever think some things you're going through is so bad. Never, you never know. After the rain, it's always going to be some sunshine, and it's always going to be some new flowers that come up. I'm a living witness. Anywho, I'm Tawana with Tawana Joni and things. I hope that help you. Please subscribe to this channel. Uh, like, comment. Uh, if you can comment, um, definitely subscribe. If you're sitting here, you're watching me, sister. Come on now. Give me a, come on, subscribe, baby. I'm helping you out. Look out for me. I want to put 100 women in wholesale business this year. I'm almost there. I want 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm almost there, and I can get that with your help. Anywho, this is another video. Um, Tawana Joni and things. I feel like I'm talking too much. Um, if I can help you with anything, it'd be my pleasure. And uh, you know I'll be seeing you again in another video. Ciao for now.